Okay guys, welcome back to Joe's RC Corner and uh, sorry for the messy uh, hair and uh, messy shirt and so on, but we've been working on some painting and I uh, wanted to give you a quick update. So we went ahead and we finished doing a lot of the uh, sanding and priming on the, so we finished the sanding and we finished some priming on the aircraft. So as you can see here, uh, the priming's all done. It's all sanded nice and smooth and uh, ready for white on this air on the uh, fuselage side. Uh, the wing, I've already uh, finished doing some sanding and already finished uh, laying down the white on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead inside the paint booth here and take a quick peek at it. Okay, so here we are in the paint booth. I got some lights set up in here a little bit better so we can see, uh, but uh, basically here we go. So we got the white laid on the bottom of the wing uh, that's the first coat. Um, I did do a dusting coat first and then did a, uh, one good coat on it. Um, I do have a heater in here and I'm running my cans on the heater, uh, to keep the, the paint inside them a little bit warm, not too hot. I got it on low, but it's also keeping the room in here a little bit warmer as well. So it'll maybe help, uh, have the paint cure a little bit quicker. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, lay something on top of the sawhorses here so I can flip it over and paint the other side. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's looking really nice. Looking really, really nice. Looking really good, I'm really happy with this. So uh, yeah, it's looking really good on here. And the paint that I'm using here is the uh, Rust-Oleum Ultra, uh, Ultra 2 coat. Here we go. So, so far I'm looking, it's, uh, I'm really liking how it's coming out so far. Uh, so like I said, the base white is on there. Probably be a week or, or two before I lay down any masking tape and any uh, other colors on here because I wanna make sure I give this white base coat a long enough time to cure before I start taping anything to it because as soon as I start taping anything to it if it's not cure all the way uh, what will happen is when I peel off those uh, the paint lines I'm going to have white paint on the tape so we don't want that so we definitely want to make sure that this is really cured so as you can see here, it's looking really nice, really nice. Uh, don't worry about these wrinkles right here. That's actually where the servo hole is. Uh, so I'm just, I'm not pulling that tape or the, uh, the fiberglass out of that hole until I have, uh, until we're done doing all the painting and then I'll cut those holes out. So other than that, so that's all I have for today. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh, we're going to keep going on this. I uh, want to get the fuselage in here next. Uh, get that all white and uh, then we'll start moving forward from there. Now the fuselage I'm probably going to hang not set on the table like this. Uh, so I'll be able to get that a little bit quicker. But uh, definitely the wing's looking good and uh, we'll keep going from here. So thanks again.